Right, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. Go on. He's Go there. on. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> right. Whoa, yeah, man. Right. right, blue on the fly. Right, I'm just. Welcome to, to another episode on the Silent Warrior. We are going sharking today. We got Muss from Muscle White Flies. And the plan today is to try and catch a blue shark on the fly. So we're just collecting some bait and we're going to shoot straight out there. We're getting anything we can at the moment. The, uh, the bait fish are being complete bastards. So we're picking up pollock, wrasse, anything we can get our hands on, pout, whatever. Uh, while we're out there, we should be able to pick up some um, white in. There's loads of bait coming into the sound now. And once we uh, get out there and get set up, we'll bring it back. Well, we've got where we need to go. So we're out about about 25 miles we've come out. And we've got the floats in the water. You probably can't see them because they're right at distance. But our chum slick is heading that way. So what we've done is we've set up two rods here at the back. First rod, uh, first rod to go in is our deepest float. And that's set at 40 foot. Second one is set at 20 foot. And I've got one just at a camera shot here. Got one here that's 15 foot under the boat because these blue sharks come right up under the boat looking for that chum bag. So once that chum starts sinking down, we've got a load of bits and bobs in it. It's mashed up fish and bran and oils once that sinks down into a, into this big gully we're running through that should start bringing the fish up so once we find them fish like always whoa, bring it back sweet yeah i think it's taking both ways oh really yes yeah Just hold on nice and tight to the rod. There you go. Yeah. 
Edge it like that. That's it? Yeah. Got it? Yeah. Well. <laughs> well, whilst David's wrestling that one, we've got another one on here. This one on the boat because he's so wrapped up I didn't want him to damage himself. So this is the first proper big shark I've ever been attached to. My he's got an old fishing hook in his mouth as well, like I did bring him on the boat. meant to be, eh? Holy moly! Oh. That is a seriously powerful run. Big, that's a big shark. Watch yourself for that camera a sec. There he is. I've got to get him back because I've had him out of water. That's superb. Shark had a long line hook in it. Right, anyway, so that's his, this is Muzz's first shark, and that's it's a good fish, mate. That's 70, 70 pounds, I reckon. Nice, that'll do for the first shark ever. It's a good one, 70 pounder, eh? It's a good one, mate. Well, now I've done that on that rod and knowing that that is a pretty big one, I'm saying it's doable. You're quite fly. confident you can get one on the fly? Yeah, I am. Right, let's After do doing that, I, um, see you later, mate. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thanks for uh, increasing my heart rate. Woo! Yes! <laughs> Thank you so much, mate. That was epic. <laughs> Right, we're into another shark here. Yeah? Within what? Five minutes. Five minutes that bait been in the water. Yeah. Oh, hello. And this one's actually given us a fight. What? And mine didn't. Oh, right? yours did. Mine did. <laughs> it was wrapped right up, wasn't it? Yeah.
find they often come in all right and battle at the bow, or is that unusual? That's why he battered at the bow, because it just came in about yeah, fighting. Yeah. It came in about fighting, so uh, once he got to the bow, he's done all his fighting there. He didn't realise he was up to your little bites into it, I think. Once you get this float in your hand, yeah. if you could just unclip it. Yeah. It was like a semi decent fish. Don't want to come up though. No. Stay, stay deep, I can't see colour yet. Look at this with that line, you can clearly see that. In the water. Yeah. Just give that chum bag another shake there, mate. Of all of the shark family, they're uh, the gayest of sharks, I think. Really? As far as like four beetles and, yeah. and freshers and things like that go, um, they're just big type, really. Yes. They're quite fast, though, aren't they? Yeah. They're quite fast when they do go on. Oh, yeah. We've got less rods in the water now. Yeah, it makes life a bit easier. Yeah. If you had an excitometer on the boat, it would be like through the roof right now. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty exciting. Yeah. There it is, I can see it there. You see it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's coming in. Sideways. Coming in sideways, yeah. He's, uh, he's right wrapped up. Another good fish though. Just coaxing him to unwrap himself at the moment. I'd much rather he unwrap himself at the side of the boat than me bring him aboard. Probably safer that way. Yeah. The shark as well. Down 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 you know what I mean? Yeah. Mainly for the shark. He don't care about us. There we go. Look at that. Fantastic. It's about the same size as the first one. Yeah. They're literally shaped like a torpedo, aren't they? <laughs> right. Do you want the T-bar? Right, put the rod in there. Yeah, put the rod in. 
Right, so there he is. There he is, shark number three. Oh, he's, he's being nice and calm for you. That's you such go. an awesome fish. All right, they've got huge pectoral fins, haven't they? They're yeah. like aeroplane wings, literally. Yeah. Come on. Behave yourself, mate. We'll let you go. So Dave's just put the T-bar in there. Um, it basically inverts the hook so you can use the weight of the fish and just pop the hook out. Well, that's the theory anyway. Well, <laughs> this is shark number four in half an hour, 40 minutes tops. Um, we're just setting the fly rod up. or job. just literally got it out of the case. And Dave literally just said, right, if we see another one, we'll take the bait out of the water and we'll go for the fly. As he said that, the rod's hooped over and it's game on again. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, they're not coming right up on the top though, are they? I mean, that was five feet into the water, a ten foot yeah, into the water, and it, and it was that not even a boat's length away from the boat either. It was like, yeah. Here he comes. Come on. Oh. It's a brilliant rod for this sort of fishing. Well, yeah. Yeah, pen regiment too. Tuna popping rod. But I don't know if I'd want to catch a bluefin on that on one of these. Beat the hell out of you. Perfect for these sharks. I was going to say, it was uh, it, it seemed flint enough powerful enough for those sharks. There he comes. Here he is. Come on. They come up like a real turquoisey colour when they're still fairly deep. Really bright. It's wrapped up again, look. Why do you keep wrapping up? Here he is. Wrapped like a buggery. Right, pass me that left hand glove again. to fill for the uh, tea bar if you want to yeah. grab that camera, mate. Down there. Okay, yeah. shark number four. That's a big fish. I mean, he's... Look at them. 
it's got to be that's got to be 80 90 pounds that's hooked perfectly as well oh saying that where's that hook just gone saying that yeah <laughs> spoke too soon no no it's still on the edge it's on the other corner yeah come on there you go Missed. <laughs> missed it. <laughs> He's bitten down on it on one side. You see. There, we go. there he is. Oh, T-bar's hard work. There we go. See you later, Mr. Shark. Woo. Mate. <laughs> well, just getting set up. We've got another blue in the chum select. We've pulled all the rods in. And Moose has got the fly rod out. So what I'm literally just doing here is re-stripping into this basket to try and manage this line. Um, we're just gonna try and take it out. Oh my word, that wind behind is horrible. Yeah. Um, so just to get that line out, that's like the world's worst cast. Um, right. Is that wind going to be a problem for you? We'll find out. The shark was just meandering up inside this slick here, so he's there somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, so you've got to try and keep your balance yeah. as well yeah. as. It's, it's interesting. Yeah. I mean, I'll, we know that's there, so we can try like this to sort of try and tease it onto this fly. If it doesn't work, what I may well do is pop the fly out and then just let it hang. Because the fly will hang pretty much length of that leader, so it'll be 12 foot below the surface. Yeah, like so that. this is a floating leader? It's um, it's sink, the lead is sinking, but the, the line is floating. Ah, got you. So the line will hold the leader up. There you go. The length of the leader. <laughs> I'll keep my hands. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. Go on. He's Go there. on. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> right. Whoa, yeah, man. Right. Right, blue on the fly. Right, I'm just gonna have to We've get this camera on the fly. This is game on now. And it doesn't look like a massive one. This, oh, oh my word. Right, what I'll do, I'll get this rod up out of the way. Yeah. Because this is gonna be mental. Yeah. Now, let me know. Right, we're in back already. Right, so do I need to, is it going down no, though? I've got, it's going down, I can't. I'm gonna start the engine. And I'm just gonna keep you yeah. the side of the boat. Yes, blue shark on the fly. We said if we hook up another one on yeah. the bait, there'll be another one to yeah. take it. If you can get any line on that, take it, mate. No worries. Yeah, good. All right. It's a little bit different from dry fly fishing on the YouTube. Yeah. Woo! There you go. I'll just stand out your way. Yeah. So the camera can see you. Yeah. And just do what you've got to do, Muz. Radio. Well, we haven't done it we yet. We haven't done it we yet. We haven't done it yet. Let me know if you need anything. I will. Do you want the butt pad? No, I'm alright for a minute. Okay, focus, uh, it's no 
you're going to completely so, spank you. No, luckily, that first run was pretty immense. I'm going to turn the engine off for a second, because I don't think we're going to need it. No. Any. So it should be about 30 feet away. That's it, Bruce. Just going to click you in gear, though, and yeah. bring it round. Get out of here, <laughs> okay, so all that line I just made up. You're back on the back I'm um, just. Oh, he's really woken up now. Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh. Ah. You're right. Yeah. Braid in the Yeah. Right. That was a scuffle there. Right, back your finger, could you? The temptation with fly rods when you get to this kind of stalemate is to hold the rod up. It's the worst yeah. thing you can do, you'll break the rod. Oh, okay. You've got to hold by the cork. Yeah. If you start holding up here, you'll just snap it. Really? They're designed to bend all the way so through. So, what you're doing is you're taking all of that rod yeah. out of there you're and then you're pointing it just with a tip. Yeah. Yeah, you, right. yeah, absolutely. You're taking the yeah. strongest bit of the rod out of the equation. Um, yeah. It's. I've seen people do it, it's just a bad idea. You know how long this fight's going to go on for, right, don't you? It, well, <laughs> it's beginning to dawn on me that I might be here for a... Yeah. Uh, as long be, as you're getting a bit, yeah. a bit of line each time, each yeah. time you're pumping, as long as you're getting line, you're winning. He is actually seeming to get to that certain point. See, now we have, we're getting towards the belly now, so we can see. So the running line's wide and that belly is... Uh, Hopefully we're not wrapped up because really? you haven't got very long wire, have you? No. But once I've touched your lead, that's the catch. Yeah, it is, yeah. 100%. So, I'll be able to get a little bit of footage of it by the boat. Oh, yeah. See? in full compression, <laughs> yeah. like full compression. Are we about to see him? That take was epic. Yeah. Like epic. Oh, there he goes again. I don't know if you can see on the video, but that reel is... Okay. Any moment. 
again, okay? And that's what you want, directly down. When it starts going under the boat, I'll worry. Yeah, right, yeah, I yeah. I can yeah. see the end of your leader there, mate. Yeah. So the fish is probably 14 feet beneath us now. Something like that. There it is, I can see the kind of nice. mental. Nice! Okay, so he is wrapped up. If you could hear how fast my heart is beating right now, then right, I'm gonna have to walk back here, Dave. Right, keep that rod around that way. Yeah. Give that back. Little bit further. Oh, I've got the line. Right, it's a caught fish. Now, he ain't wrapped, so get that camera. Yeah, right. Let me Take just. Yeah. Shark on the fly rod. There it is. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> what are you going to give me for it? That's. Give him a look at him. Uh, I say that was. It's forty pounds. Nice. Thirty forty. I oh, say forty pounds. Oh, nice. You can see the fly hanging out of his mouth. Can't. I'm trying to get that tail. Yeah. Just to bring him up. Oh, there you go. There we go. It's gone, mate. Oh. <laughs> Give me that camera. How are you feeling? <sighs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Do you know what? <laughs> I've wanted to do that for so long. You know when you asked me a minute ago if I wanted anything? Yeah. Have you got a spare bicep? Yeah. <laughs> mine's killing me, that was fucking amazing. What a catch, man. Yeah, man. Right, let's get, you, let's get you hooked up to another one. Yeah. And seagulls still trying to pack my float there. Yeah. I'm just kind of, just gonna hold the fly for a bit, just not yeah. move it so much, just yeah. to see if this makes a difference actually. So what line, what what thickness is that line? What so give, this give is the rundown of that it's setup. A, it's a, a nine foot twelve weight rod. Yeah. Um and obviously I've matched that with a twelve weight line. This is a floating line. So like at the moment I'm yeah. able to let that fly line float. Yeah. And then the fly will just be moving with yeah, the current yeah, yeah. I'm trying almost, for almost a bobbing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so, obviously, never doing this before, it's all a learning curve for me as much as I had to do some research, try and work out what kind of leader to use, right? Yeah. So, there's about 10 foot of 80 pound fluorocarbon um, going down to 175 yeah. pound 49 strand wire and a, and a big, like, 132 pound clip. Um, and it worked, so <laughs> you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was, uh, I was, I was quite taken back on how much pressure you were able to. Oh, put yeah. On that thing. Absolutely, there's a line up there. Um, yeah. Um, it handled it. Wait, no, obviously was... never doing it before. I didn't know how it would handle it, yeah. but yeah, it's definitely doable. Yeah. Like definitely doable. Um, well, let's see if we can get you an 80 pounder down. Well, yeah, see what we can find, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> well, we're hooked up again. That was, uh, we had the fly right next, we had a bait under the boat as well, because we were just unsure that there was any in the slick anymore. And we just cast that fly within a foot of where this bait is. It's just done a huge run. That was the biggest run we've had so far, isn't it? Yeah, that was hedge. And it's still going. So clearly where the fly was right next to the bait, the fly is obviously a dodgy fly, so I don't know who tied that. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Carry, carry, oh no, okay. I was going to say carry on, but it could get a tangle. Yeah, quite that's why I've, yeah, I've just moved out of the way just to say. I don't think this is small. No. Um, this is going to be a big fish. Just get prepared. That tore a lot of line off yeah. very quickly. Um, T-bar, T -bar, T -bar, everything on your seat. So T-bar, glove, glove. Uh, wire cutters. 
fits in on the seat. Yeah. Okay. Good. Well, this is hook up number five on the baits. So we were just beginning to uh, wonder if the shark was still there. Um, and I just had a sandwich, so I pulled the fly in and I just pitched it back out and um, just letting it sink a little bit and then whammo, the, uh, the whiting done it again. It's going to be a big fish, this one. Yeah, that's some. These pen slammers are brilliant for this little work. Yeah, they are. They're real powerful. And it's getting yeah. nice reel to use as well. Yeah. The large knob on the handle makes it easier to grasp. Yeah. As soon as we got this in, we need to get that fly. Let's get that fly out. Yeah, exactly. I'll just rub that. It's probably just as well it did grab the bait <laughs> yeah. rather than the fly, otherwise I'd be in a whole world of hurt right now. I mean, I'm putting a lot of pressure on this. Yeah, I know, I can, I can see. Everything about the blue shark shape just suggests speed. Yeah. And I'm guessing the big pectoral fins are literally for stability at the speed. Yeah. I was going to say it's good fun watching you suffer, Dave, but I might be eating my words yeah. if I say that. So I'm going to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> Gone down quite far this yeah. one. Whew. Up you come, girl. Oh, hello. Oi, oi. Let me in. Come here, monkey. There we go. After the fifth shark, you have nuts out there a little bit. Yeah. <laughs>
It's going to be a big fish, this one. It's got to be the biggest so far today, I reckon. Unless I am pulling him in backwards. And it's this. Yeah, all sideways. Yeah. I love spinning out these sharks. So we're getting somewhere. That's a massive fish, mate. That is huge, isn't it? That's the first one I've seen with what looks like a really big, big, like, big body on it. Yeah. It's a hell of a chunk of a fish. Though. You wouldn't want it for a wall on the end of your nose, that's for sure. You wouldn't want it for a wall on the end of your nose, mate, no. Their eyelids get me. They've got a weird eyelids to go up instead of down. That is a big old shark. That is really big. Oh. Yeah. Right, so tangled. Basically rolling that fish over. That's 100 pound fish, mate. That is a big old fish. So this is shark number five. Oh my god, that is a giant. <laughs> right, the size of him. That is an absolute giant. <laughs> That's a big old fish, mate. Super, super cool. Just seems like I can grab his tail. Yeah. Bring him up. So you can see the size of them. Right, Murs, what I'm gonna do, yeah. I'm gonna try and get them straight. Let me know when his tail's on the corner of the boat. Yeah. And we'll measure it. Okay. Because I haven't got the tape measure with me. All right. Um, and then we'll tear them off. So I'll come around that way. Bring him round. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. Get me out. Come on, mate. Oh, let's get my hands on, on him. Nah, they're gonna let me. I mean, he's he's 120 pounds. Oh, yeah. Easy. He's, he's got a body on it like a freaking barrel. Easy 120 pounds. Right. Check out two bar. Two bars on the seat. So. This one's nicely hooked again. So it's nice seeing them up like this in the corner of the mouth. If you can get that T-bar on Look it. Look at the teeth. So cool. 
Right, that's us all packed up. We're coming towards the end of the day. We're gonna get back in and get some rest because we are sleeping in vans at the moment and you don't get a great sleep, so it's uh, you're always tired. Yeah. But we managed to do what we came for. We sure did. We wanted a fly on, we wanted the shark on the fly. Um, and it was a great one at that. I mean, the idea was to, to wait until we saw them up on the surface and pick a smaller shark and see how we got away with it. Um, it's not been the case. They've been coming very close to the boat. They've been taking baits 10 foot under the boat, but we're not seeing them at all. So the only way to do it was to, to be casting the fly constantly, <laughs> but it's worked. Which has been nice, yeah, absolutely, uh, Def we, definitely. My arm's killing me, but not as much as I thought it was Guinea, so. No, yeah, no, I was quite impressed. I mean, yeah. that was in within, 10 minutes, 15 yeah, minutes? Was. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. See, I thought you were going to get beat up for about an hour. Yep, so did I, to be honest yeah. with you, but it just goes yeah. to show that it's more doable, doable than you think. Yeah, well, that's actually. it. Yeah. We've managed seven sharks a day up to 120 pounds. It's been a brilliant day out here. Um, yeah. And we may even come out here for a few sharks tomorrow, but we'll see you on the next episode of the Solent Warrior.